on, it's Don Week here at Tyler Martial Arts. I'm just going to go over with you today what we practice in our Kabuto class as a warm up with the bow. Um, some of these exercises aren't too complicated, but if you haven't done some of them before, I'll show you some ways to start at the beginner level or how to um, a little, make it a little easier so you can at least start at our level and work your way up. First one is just switching your hands. We do have another video on switching your hands. It's a good wrist warm up. We practice these a few times. During most of the warm up, you're going to want to make sure that your hands stay on the bow. We also practice another method of switching your hands, and it's just sliding your hands along the bow as the bow rotates to the other side. And then we also like to practice a little bit of stretching. This one's more self-explanatory, just reaching down for your toes. And then you can stretch to the side. Down the other side. And this one, you don't necessarily need a bow for this one, but we also like to practice this often in the class too. Good. And then a squat up, lifting your back up with your head coming up last. A few other exercises we do is like we like to practice rolling the bow on our forearms and then catching it without letting it go. It is a little tricky at first. The idea is not to let the bow jump or fall onto the ground, but just letting it roll to the tip of your fingers. And then that's where your hand goes with the bow as it's rolling. And if you can do it backwards, that's good too. It's a little tricky. I'll try backwards again. There we go. Good. Some other exercises you can do is for forearm strength. So just lifting the bow. And you can adjust this, especially if you're a little newer to it, by shortening the length of the bow. And another good one, kind of the same idea, is just bringing your arm through chamber and punching it. You can make it harder by extending it or making it easier by shortening it. Chamber and full rotation. I hope you enjoy this video. If you can, please practice this if you're a Kabuto student, if you are able to practice this at home. Thanks. Bye for now.